My name is Michael. I've been up here a number of times talking about other things tonight. <clears throat> in light of the arrest last week of David Shane Williams and Jonathan Gardner, both former officers who committed their crimes on duty. And Jane Gibson's resignation from the CPRB, which I believe was her way to protest the direction it's being taken. It's frustrating to see her leave. The continued decline in transparency not noted online by the scanner groups. Let's remember why there's distrust. History has taught us to distrust the Lawrence Police Department. Let's talk about certification revocations. Lawrence Police Department has had five revocations in the last six, seven years. In that same amount of time, they have upheld five and a half citizen complaints out of 39. So there were 39 citizens complaints brought forward, five and a half of them upheld. And in that same time, five officers lost their ability to be a cop because of their behavior. There are three more revocations coming. I'll let you guys figure out who those are, but one of those officers was dog kennel, sadomasochism, really? We have officers like that on our police force. You guys put these people out here to patrol us. They have guns, they have tasers, they have the ability to take our freedom and throw us in jail. They also have that ability to play that little game. You may beat the case, but you'll still do the time. How many times do indigent citizens still do the time because a bad cop decided they didn't like them? We wanna talk about why citizens don't come forward to report the rape. I saw a comment on the Lawrence Journal World that was criticizing the female accusing Jonathan Gardner of, Gardner of rape. Let's remember that during the same time that this cop was walking around free, thinking he had gotten away with this, LPD chose to charge an actual rape victim with making false reports. And we're supposed to trust. We've, given, we've been given no reason to trust the LPD. They've shown us no reason to trust. In the same amount of time that LPD has had a total of eight different revocations, Douglas County has had one in a decade. And it was for something that happened at home. KUPD has not lost a single officer because of something like this. Yet Lawrence, it happens almost annually here recently, and more often than citizen complaints are sustained. The OPA process is broken, and you guys are gonna water it down and give us more LPD involvement in the citizens review process. The citizens review board needs I'm to be an independent review, and it's up to you to codify it. 